Hi, I hope you're keeping well. A bit of a different video for me today. This is Esther at My Money Matters. I'm doing a packaging and getting orders ready from my Etsy shop. So on my Etsy shop, I sell cash challenges that are used with budgeters and cash stuffers to help them save more money. So I'm going to show you the packaging and talk you through my process, really. Just to say a bit of a disclaimer, there are quite a few orders on this particular video. I don't normally get this many in a day I've just had a new release of some of my new or my new challenges that I release monthly and I tend to do about four new challenges a month just because I'm sitting on a pile of ideas and I need to get them out there and published so that everybody can enjoy them so the process of actually packaging and getting orders ready can take up quite a bit of time I want to show you my new wheelie bin how cute is this sorry to interrupt but um my new wheelie bin features quite a bit in my video today. Um, just a little Timu order there. I wanted a bin on my desk because it's amazing how much little bits of strips of plastic or, you know, if you peel off bits for the um, packaging that, you know, you end up with these little bits and bobs on your desk. So yeah, it's, it's been really invaluable. Um, I usually forget to add dice to people's orders. I have it there on the desk ready to go. Um, so some of my challenges have got dice in them and this envelope wanted not to seal. So I'm just gonna seal it at the bottom, which I usually do. And then it's just a little bit flappy on the sides. So I'm coming in with a bit more washi tape to seal that. I reckon, because I've timed myself, on average, it takes about five minutes per order, which sounds a lot of time. So I've got to check the order, especially if it's a returning customer and I see whether um, how much they've ordered, how many times they've ordered and um, I've got to check the quantity and check their order as well. So there's quite a lot to actually go through and check with customer orders. So I like to use this bright pink tissue paper and I just printed off my own stickers to seal them and some gold washi tape. I'm just trying to centralise <laughs> this challenge so it goes in the middle this order was for the rainy day challenge so then coming in my gold washi and I like the idea of having the bright pink envelopes to match so it really um, hopefully is a happy happy mail so you know that if a bright pink envelope drops on your doormat it's from my money matters so just sealing this one ready to go so when I seal my envelopes and get these ready and then I just put a thank you sticker on the back it says thank you for your purchase I turn it over and I write the customer's name on it and then I do a little um, sign on the end to say how the package is going to go whether it's going to go uh, large letter or small letter so I've recently changed the way that I do the postage and the postage is now free on all items so you don't have to worry about the postage but on my end I need to just figure out how it's going to be sent so these, um, my Money Matters uh, zip wallets are proving popular. Every time I've listed them, they've sold out and um, they just take a little bit of time to do. And um, I need to kind of sit down and make a batch and then I list them. So that's another one going out to a customer. So yeah, a bit of a different video, like I said, but I just, I love seeing behind the scenes. And I wanted to do this in real time. Some of it gets a bit more sped up as we go along because it's the same sort of process. But um, you might have seen one of my package videos before where I show actually getting the order, having to compare it to the um, spreadsheets and then having to, to mark my stock off, having to find the challenges. It is quite a process. So if you are thinking about opening an Etsy shop, it's not a quick process. Just bear in mind that these things do take time. It takes time to create the designs. So um, that's partly the reason, you know, of where the costs go really because the designing of the challenges some people can knock out designs quicker than others but for me I like to to really work at my designs and make you know I have a sort of standard that I like them to be so um, I might try and do that one day try and do a design with you to show you how long it takes so this is me coming to the end of my role <laughs> um, perfect example of things that take up time and that was going to go my bin if it'll go in yeah just little things like this just take up the extra time when you come to packaging the orders um having to re put the washi tape on for example um yeah 
And that's another little Timu by having that little washi dispenser. So that's been really handy. Most of the orders do fit in the envelopes, but later on I'll show you on a bigger order um, that I have got other packaging for the bigger orders. Or if you order a binder, that will go in a different packaging as well. So you might have noticed I've labelled all my um, my bits and pieces that I used. Um, and I've got a carousel that I keep the bits in. So this particular customer, she's actually gone through all my freebie thank you challenges and we're back at the beginning, so she's going through them all again. I have some very, very loyal customers, so thank you so much if that's you and if you come back for more. So they're going for a wafty wafty envelope and the new catastrophe challenge and the nativity night. Um, it's always exciting to see what people order. <laughs> So here's my new washi, just trying to break into this. Um, it's just got like a plastic layer on the outside. I bring in my trusty scissors and crack this open. So I think there are now six freebie challenges. So if you place an order of £10 or more, you get a free challenge. And then if you've had the previous one, then you'll get another a different one. Um, I th it might come up early in the video, I think, where I've now got one called Pigs in Wigs as my latest challenge. And also, if you are a um, regular customer of mine, I'm also sending out another little freebie. Um, I won't spoil the surprise. <laughs> so here we go. I'm back in business with my washi. I've got the gold back on and we can carry on with our orders. Just getting rid of that rubbish in my wheelie bin. And completing this with the washi and the stickers. So like I said, each day can vary with orders. Some days it'll be one order, some days it'll be more. Usually when I release challenges, I do get a few more orders. And so hence me doing a bit more today. So this is the new record challenge which happens to be a scratch off challenge and it gives you the option to come with the uh, special coin that I do or you can just buy the challenge by itself or with a wallet and an insert. So here's the box I was telling you about. If you have say three or more wallets or a bigger order, I tend to use these boxes to put them in and just layer that with some tissue paper. I'm just tucking it under my desk. This is my little workstation. It's just easier to do it at my desk, so I've got all the stuff there. Here's the new challenge I was telling you about, pigs in wigs. <laughs> it's so silly and fun. Anyways, there we go. And if you are a returning customer, you get a piggy sticker in your order as well. If you get a challenge, it means that you've had a £10 order or more and you'll get a paper clip with it as well. So I do the pick paper clips and I do the little envelope paper clips. So this is a nice, a big fat order going all the way to America. Um, again, I'm just very grateful for any order I get, big or small, in this country or another country. It just um, yeah makes me happy. So thank you so much for your support. I'm just having to turn some of these... Uh, wallets around so they're not all facing the same direction so it can fit in the package so now with any abroad orders I'm doing tracking um, which costs a lot more with postage hence um, why it costs um, more when it comes to ordering if you are abroad but it just means I can track the packages I didn't have many go missing it's just the occasional one that did and it was just unnerving me I didn't like the um, not knowing where the package was so this helps to cover our backs knowing that it's been tracked and signed for so and then so I just put my washi tape down the side just to decorate it and make it look a little bit more fancy and I had a little bit of a, a fight with my my packaging tape there <laughs> It didn't want to cooperate. You know when it splits down the middle? That, yes. So I've gone to clear packing tape. I did use pink, um, like strong tape, but I was like, actually, it probably doesn't need to be that strong. Normal packing tape is absolutely fine. Does the job. Just making sure you seal it down on all the edges and it keeps it in nicely. And they travel quite well in these. So any item that goes abroad gets weighed because you need to put in the weight. So again, just an added little extra when you are doing um, packages and I marked it up USA. Another catastrophe challenge. And um, that's going in with a piggy sticker. That must be a returning customer. 
So it's really exciting to see the new challenges fly out. Um, yeah, I love releasing new challenges. I love making them. I love um, when they're laminated because that's like the completed product. And when they um, when they go on Etsy and, and get ordered, I love it. I really love it. So I think I'm coming to the end of my orders. I must be. I think this might be the last one. So I tend to do a batch of orders in the evening. I see if any orders accumulate and then I do them in one go where possible. I try and do them most nights and get them in the post the same night as well. So here I've got my batch of orders ready. And then just as I was coming to the end, this sometimes happens. I had another order for the wafty wafty cash challenge. <laughs> so I was like, oh, do you know, what? I'm just going to include this in the video because this is what happens. This is like a real life uh, scenario where um, you're just about finishing orders and then you just get the ping to say that another one's come in. And I think while I'm sitting here, not quite finished the orders, I will just get that one completed there is a cut off point so if you're kind of ordering 11 o'clock at night um it will wait till the next day so or i know what you're like you early hours of the morning etsy order people one o'clock two o'clock orders yes i see you <laughs> so now i'm just having to go through each envelope and just double check the postage because some are going um different postage sizes of the thickness of the envelopes just sorting all those out so again this all needs to be done and uh, the postage labels need to be bought and printed so I'm just hiding the postage labels so I don't have to worry about people's addresses and I use the piggy stamp which I just store with the ink pad under my desk and get those stamped up with the iconic pig there it goes so with the abroad ones it's the um so I'll say signed and sealed uh so, sign, tracked and signed and then there's a custom label that goes on the back and then because this hasn't had the golden sticker treatment that will go on the front so here we go I'm just going through all the envelopes making sure they're all there checked and ready to go nice wadge going into the post box and just shutting down my orders and getting that ready to go and now for some dodgy filming as I try and get it to the post box, uh, one handed with phone in hand and trying to film with a watch in the other hand. But uh, yeah, there we go. I tend to walk up to the post box in the night and that's going to be collected the next day. Thanks so much for watching along. I hope you found this video interesting. Take care. God bless. Catch you next time on My Money Matters. Bye. <coughs>